Hey guys, happy Thursday. One more day until the weekend. This is the Helium 10 Ask Me Anything episode 28. Can't believe we've hit 28. I love it. We got to do something special for 30, I think. We do. We yeah. Do. Um, Been come a long way. Yep. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. All right. Uh, my name is Bradley Sutton. I'm joined by my partner in crime, Matt Benton. How's it going? And we are here uh, to pump you up. All right. So, uh, what is Helium 10 about? Matt, take it away. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, if you if you're new here, uh, what is Helium 10? Right, Helium 10 is an all-in-one tool suite for Amazon sellers. We've got everything from product research to keyword research to listing optimization, competitor spying, giveaway units, uh, hijacker alerts, keyword tracking, profits, our new analytics tool, uh, refunds, and everything in between. So. We're the most reliable, most accurate, and best value suite of tools for our Amazon sellers. If you're here and you haven't downloaded the Helium 10 Chrome extension yet, you should definitely do that now. Uh, X-Ray and the Chrome extension is by far my favorite tool. So you can do that at helium10.com slash extension to download the Chrome extension. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. I got something cool that I just discovered. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I just played around with it a little bit yesterday. Let's just see who's on here, what friends we have. Rene from Costa Rica. Bienvenido. Rene, ¿cómo estás? We got Chan Man from Singapore, 6 a.m. He woke up at 6 a.m. to join us. He's dedicated. Thank you very much. Jacob says, hope you got some sleep. He saw Jacob was on the AMA I did about uh, 15 hours ago. Jacob, no sleep, no rest for the weary. Come on now. You know how we do. Howard says, hi, hello, Howard. What's up, Yuri? How you oh, doing, Yuri. Yuri. Yeah, we haven't seen you in a couple episodes. Yuri, how's it going? And we have Australia in the house. Karen Lee says, good morning. Um, ah, here's it. Here, did, oh, oops, oh, that's not the one I wanted to do. Where did that go? Howard says, did Matt do the hot uh, chicken eating contest? Yes, guys. Check out our Instagram um, look up Helium 10 software. It's Helium 10 software. Yeah. Helium yeah. 10 software on Instagram, and you can see some pictures. You know, your team didn't win, did they? Did they? No, Howard. I got waxed. My team lost, and I think it was my fault. I ate the first wing a little slow, and they were super, <laughs> super hot. So that was not as easy as it looked. My mouth was burning for like 15, 20 minutes after that. But uh, yeah, check out the Instagram. And guys, that that's the thing. What I want you guys to do. I had said that this was part of the contest. So for those of you who have followed Helium 10 on Instagram in the last two weeks, go back there. And if you haven't followed, this is how you can enter the contest. Go to Helium 10 on Instagram, Helium 10 software. Look at that picture of the chicken wing eating contest and then tag somebody, comment on it and tag somebody who's like another Amazon seller, tag them in it. Um, you know, say something, say like, look how much fun the Helium 10 guys have. But then we're going to pick one of you guys who comment on that chicken wing picture is going to win a Helium 10 shirt. So that's the way. At first, we had sent something a little bit more complicated that like, oh, yeah, take a screenshot. I think we had said or something. But um, Gabby, our social media manager and I were talking to her like that. That's too difficult. Let's just make it easy. So, guys, if you have followed Helium 10 the last two weeks, go back like that picture, comment on it. And if you're brand new and never seen it on Instagram, go to there, comment on it. And then we're going to pick on Tuesday, uh, the winner for that. Um, let's see who else is on here that we can say hi. Uh, Gr Diana says greetings from the wing in Sacramento. What's everything about wings today? Uh, Martin, Martin from England. Hello, Lucas. We have LSA from Hawaii. Uh, Jacob says he saw that second place. Yeah, I got second place. Oh, yeah, that's right. I put up a Facebook Live. They, sure. you, yeah, you can actually see. Look on my – I actually put it in the Helium 10 users. There's a Facebook Live, so you can actually see myself eating. You can see Matt eating. Um, just look for that video. Hot Wing Contest, I think it's called. Francisco, how's it going? John, Bebe. We got two people from Hawaii in one day. That's pretty cool. And uh, Kevin – uh, says hi. All right, guys. Uh, Alex says hi from Southwest Florida. Hello, Alex. I'm about to be in Florida tomorrow night on my way to Puerto Rico this weekend. John is on. How's it going, John? All right. So guys, I found a potentially ninja tactic that you can use, and it is this. It is finding out which um, words that are not even in your competitor's listing and they are converting for it in PPC. So let me show you what I found, all right? So Matt knows what I'm gonna search for. 
Surprise. Surprise. Collagen peptide. John knows what I'm going to search for. Everybody knows what Bradley searches for because I'm not very interesting. All right. Let's see. Hello, Ida. Hello, Lee. Hello, Martha. Let me go ahead and go. So for those of you who don't know, Cerebro is our reverse ASIN lookup tool. And uh, Matt, what does reverse ASIN lookup even mean? Yeah, so uh, with Cerebro, you can enter in uh, your ASIN or a competitor's ASIN, and we're going to return all the keywords that show up for that ASIN. Okay. The keywords that rank. So normally, how we've been doing it, we've been diving a lot into like just the organic results. We've been diving into competing ASINs, and that's really cool, guys. Make sure to check out episodes 25 and 26 of the AMA to, to do that. But now I want to show you guys something else that we don't talk about too much. I'm going to show uh, you right now all of the keywords that you know, we have detected that have come up uh, for this. Or I, I can't talk right now. Uh, Matt, can you explain it? What's going to happen when I hit this <laughs> sponsor result? My, my brain is, is mush, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's going to. Bradley's been uh, rocking and rolling on recording videos for like the last two days straight. Um, so if you hit sponsored results in Cerebro and run a reverse ASIN search, you're going to see all the keywords where that ASIN is running uh, PPC or sponsored ads for. So all yes. the keywords where. They're showing up in sponsored products. Exactly. So here there's actually 691. Now I'm going to quiz Matt on something I'm not sure he knows. And I didn't know this very often. If they have hundreds and hundreds of keywords, probably it's coming from what kind of campaign do you think they did? Uh, broad. Broad. Yeah. Broad could be phrase, probably auto, but unless they are diehard they're probably not doing a manual campaign the 691 manual campaigns so that's one thing that you can see you can you can check your ppc your competitors ppc strategy by seeing how much they're coming up with now if this was like 20 keywords what would you probably say right they're running some exact match or just for specific keywords or probably they know they those keywords convert yeah i said manual I, what i meant was what he said it which is exact yeah they're probably running a manual exact campaign so now here is something cool uh, I'm going to say, uh, or first of all, let me just show you guys. I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but hydrolyzed collagen peptides. A lot of times you're th there's oh, boom. <laughs> I can't even talk, but this just, uh, is showing me right there. There's a sponsored ad you see. So this is not just fake information. This is real information. We have detected that they are showing up in sponsored ads and sure enough, you search for it the very first time that wouldn't have been guaranteed, but somebody wants to make me look good today. Thank you very much. Jeff Bezos. But um, that's what that's what this means. That means that sometime, including right now, they could be showing up for sponsored ads. So watch this. I am going to say, show me some like higher volume keywords, like maybe at least 200 uh, searches, all right? Let's see how much I can whittle this down. Okay, 189. That, that's something that's doable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire list of keywords and export it to Frankenstein. Now here in Frankenstein, I'm actually not... Ah, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. They're not seeing the screen. We messed up right there. My bad. All right. There we go. Let's go back. All right. Let us go back. I, I was trying to look good and I didn't even look good. So here, let me, let me look good again. What I did was I said, hydrolyzed collagen peptides. There's a hundred. Uh, I go to here and boom, it still shows up. That means it has showed up for a sponsored ad. All right. There we go. All right. So thank you for that. Karen Lee, we didn't have our a backup computer here today that shows us what we're looking at because I was on another call. So that's my bad. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So now what I did was I said, show me exact phrase search of 200 or more. And now it whittled it down to 189 keywords. I then went to export and I went to Frankenstein. And here are all of those keyword phrases right here. So now I'm just going to take all of these and I'm going to go to index checker. All right. Check out AMA episode, I believe 26 and 27 to get an in-depth uh, guide. Holy cow, we have got 83 viewers on. That is awesome. All right, guys. So I'm going to put this out and I'll watch, watch this. The way to use index checker is up here. I'm going to put the ASIN of the product. Let me find that product again. Here's the product right here. So I'm going to put their ASIN okay, in index checker. And I'm going to put their seller ID. Now, this is a very common misconception. The way to get the seller ID, guys, is you first go to click on their store name, all right? 
and I'm gonna click or right here. It's not this. This is what so many people do. They they put what's called the marketplace ID, and that's gonna give you a false result. Don't select this. It's the seller equals. All right, guys. So if you want to put the what is it called? The seller ID, you gotta look for seller equals. And so I'll just double click right here, copy, and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now I'm gonna check all of these keywords. All right, there's 3,285 uh, characters in here and it is searching all. Now check this out. If you guys watched my video I did before about um, index checker, it shows you that if you see something that's not indexed on the traditional index and it's not indexed in the storefront index, but it's indexed in the field ASIN index, that means at one point or another, it is probably on the sponsored product index, PPC index, however you want to call it. I don't think anybody has actually called it, um, or Amazon has not called it any specific thing. You know, I, I've heard, heard all of those aforementioned uh, terms. Um, whatever you want to call it, the bottom line is this is going to expose to you what words that they are not uh, indexed for organically, but they are showing up potentially in sponsored ads and they have actually converted. So let, I'm gonna, you'll be shocked at how many words there are. So for example, um, let's take a look at this hydrolyzed. That's a misspelling, right? Hydrolyzed collagen. If I go to traditional index and I click here, it's going to say we found zero results. All right. So no, that is not indexed. Now, if I go here, this is going to say nothing because it can't find that product. All right. But as you can see, it is right here, field ASIN index. So what this means is at some point or another, first of all, these are two misspelled words. Probably neither are actually in that listing, but maybe this guy had an auto campaign. He had a broad campaign. He had a phrase campaign and Amazon on their own decided, Hey, we're going to go ahead and put this product in an ad for a search result of hydrolyzed collegian, right? And then after that happened, they actually converted. The only way you can get on this sponsored product index is if you're actually converting for that because then Amazon says, okay, all right, you don't have this word in your listing, but we showed it to somebody who searched for it and they bought it. So we know you're relevant now, you know, to you. So look how many keywords are at least 500. Like there's not, there's one, here's another one, unflavored gelatin. There is no way that you would have ever thought of this being relevant to your product unflavored gelatin what in the world but guess what this proves that at some point they have converted more than once for a sponsored ad that had this result look how many there are let's let's find some more here's another one collagen powder another misspelling all right uh matt tell me if you see any more others that have the check mark in the middle that um but that have lines on the side there's collagen peptide powder Collagen, collagen peptide powder, another misspelling. Hydrolyze. I mean, look how many there are, guys. And these all have at least, what did I put? 500? Uh, 500 exact or more. So, how would you use this information? Okay. Well, how I would use this is this. Most of these are words that, yeah, probably I wouldn't have in my listing other words. And I cannot like force Amazon to show me on a sponsored ad for this. I can't just automatically do an exact phrase match for this and it's not on my listing and Amazon says, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and show it. But what I would do is I would say, Hey, this is obviously relevant because this guy is a big seller and he's converting on PPC for this. I want to be able to run an exact phrase match on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to index organically for it. I'm going to go on the traditional index. So I'm going to stick this in my, my listing, maybe in the front end, maybe in the back end or anything. And by doing that, now I can run an exact phrase search um, campaign for this exact word. And yes, Amazon will show you for that, especially if you're indexed for it. And you're going to have a good chance to... Um, to convert for that because again, you have the history. If this product right here, you know, is exactly like your product, then if they can convert on PPC for it, that means you can convert. So let me know guys, what, what do you think of that? Like John, what do you think of that? Jacob, isn't that kind of cool? May, I don't think anybody has ever thought of this kind of technique before about trying to find words that people aren't indexed for, but they're converting for organically. I didn't even know this is possible. Let me just read back into the, um, 
comments here. Ida says, that's awesome. All right. Um, Elmi is from Denmark. Hello. Let's see. Um, so for those of you who were keeping up or watching this, if you're watching on the replay, run that back and watch it again, right? Because Bradley, it took maybe 10 or so minutes to go through that. But a super, super helpful strategy to find keywords where your competitors are converting for, but keywords that might not be in their listing. So kind of money keywords that you can find that you know are converting because Amazon is uh, showing those keywords in sponsored ads, at least in Cerebro where, we'll, where we're pulling them up. Uh, so this is a really good way to find converting keywords that are not in this person's listing. Exactly, and, and it's the key word that Matt said, guys, is converting, all right? Because you know people can talk about, oh, is something relevant or not, but at the end of the day, what matters is sales. And so like, I would not have thought that unflavored gelatin is relevant to this product, but it doesn't matter because somebody did think it was relevant because they actually converted it. Because, and I've talked to Amazon about that. I was like, Amazon, how can this word be indexing or organically coming up when it's not even in the listing. They say, Hey, we, we study buyer behavior. And if they purchase it, you know, because of these kind of searches, we're going to go ahead and index, or we're going to go ahead and show you in the organic results. Um, let's see here. Um, Ed, I, I had this question of how do we index for thousands of keywords and phrases when Amazon limits our character space in the back end? Can we swap them out and remain indexed for those ones we take them out? No, you cannot. What if you take something out now, you're not indexed for it, but check this out, Ed, you think it's like thousands, right? So like, for example, this is 3,285 characters. Now you might be thinking, oh, that there's no way I have room for that in my listing, but really how many words actual unique words is that? So how would I, this is 494 words, Matt. So how would I actually find out? I'm actually in the tool itself. How would I find out how many unique words are here? Uh, I would play with the different settings down below. So like there's a number of different ways to do this, uh, Ed, like just because you've got a hundred keywords in your listing, Amazon will mix and match. And mm -hmm. like, there's so many different options that you can end up indexing for that aren't direct keywords or keyword phrases in your listing. So as long as you have those keywords there, um, yep. So I'm just like you said, right here, we're in Frankenstein. So, I mean, like, like Matt, so let, let, let's go ahead and look like, oh, here, here's one right here. Powder powder is like over and over again. All right. Now that's counted in the 494 or if this was in a list, but watch as soon as I hit this button, guys, it takes away all those duplicates out. So the key box that Bradley checked here was to answer his questions, remove duplicates. Mm -hmm. And that's going to remove all the duplicate words like powder or collagen. So you can get down to the actual unique keywords that are in your listing or yeah, total keywords. Yeah. So there's tons of phrases here, 494 words in like, I don't know how many phrases there are, but the actual number of unique words, Ed is only 121 and your listing can definitely fit 121 because remember when we say keyword phrases, like 1500 keyword phrases, that is not saying 1500 unique words. That's just keyword phrases. You know, you could have the same word repeating over and over again. So thank you for that question, Ed. Uh, all right, my, I, I can go home happy. We, we just got John mind blown right now with that. With that, that never happens. Bomb, it's right? impossible to blow John's mind. He's a and, and Lucas is, is so bewildered. He needs to sit down after sitting down. That's <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right. And Mill gives us a thumbs up. Thanks guys. It says smart bit of analysis. Thank you. All right. Um, John says, how do you put the keywords in John, please, uh, spec or, um, clarify what you're talking about. Are you talking about like, once I say, I want to index for it so I can run a PPC. How do I put it in my listing? Let me know if that's what you're asking. And uh, Liz missed the first few minutes. Uh, so Liz says, what's the second number? Yeah, the second number for the index check, that is the storefront ID or seller ID. All right. Um, Jacob says that answered his question. And Howard says, how do we see this episode later? Matt? Tell him. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Helium 10 Facebook page, uh, you go to videos and see all the videos there or go to our YouTube channel. We're uploading all of these videos there. We're almost all the way caught up. So probably by the end of next week, we'll be fully caught up. And YouTube is probably the best place to go see them. That's where I go watch all these videos and any other videos that I go to learn is YouTube. Jeff says he can't get his Amazon backend key terms to index. He's not over 250. 
I have reduced it. It could be, Jeff, you got to make sure that you don't have any forbidden keywords. Sometimes you might have a word that for whatever reason, Amazon thinks it's like an adult word or a drug related word, or even something as simple as like putting best or free or something like that, you know, and they might not index, or maybe you have too much words in your front end and they've capped you. I've heard of that happening as well. Um, or it could just be some kind of issue that Amazon is, is having. Um, you might want to just start your listing all over from scratch and just see if it builds back or take just one of those words that you're not indexed for, stick it in subject matter and refresh it after 30 minutes. And let me know if you index, if that doesn't fix it, then yeah, you are definitely being blocked by Amazon for some reason. Um, let's see. Alex says, great info. Bebe says, do the keywords needed to be in the phrase format to index in the exact phrase? No, they do not. That is an excellent question. Um, you get a little bit more juice if it's an exact phrase, but you could have collagen here, you know, peptides here and powder in the back end and collagen peptides powder, you'll be indexed for. Yeah. So I, I also wouldn't, if, if it's your main keyword phrase, I wouldn't take the chance of mixing it up. If it's your main keyword or keywords that you're wanting to shoot for that are really important for, to you. I would definitely keep those in the exact phrase, but yep. I yep. Very good. Um, is there a way to see all the keywords competitors are bidding on? No, Amazon does not display that information. And, and even what this, what we're doing right here, this is not any kind of hack or we're not hacking the system because anybody can go see what they're actually being displayed for. And that's all, that's all we're doing. I mean, you could just do what we're doing manually, but what you're talking about here, yeah, that would, you would have to do some kind of hacking thing, which we, expressly say, please never do, please don't do black hat stuff, guys. It's not worth it. Um, all right, let us go ahead and go into some questions last night. If any, let me know who was on last night for our midnight madness, um, helium 10 thing. We did the most questions we have ever done. I think it was like something like 30 or 40 questions that we got to. So we're going to try and get to some of them today. Let's go right here from the Thierne says, I am a new seller at Amazon. I cannot find a supplier. Anyone I contact at Alibaba does not answer me. I have no problem. What can I do? I need your help. Yeah. So kind of a non helium 10 related question. So sounds like you're searching on Alibaba, trying to find a supplier for your product and just having some issues getting a hold of people. Uh, I would just say, keep going, keep pushing. Um, maybe you're just reaching out to uh, suppliers or manufacturers who aren't really on top of their game or aren't serious about it. Um, if you are reaching out to solid suppliers, manufacturers, people who actually do good business, maybe then you should reevaluate kind of your initial messaging to folks and see if, if that's something you should tweak. But there definitely are tons of suppliers on Alibaba. Um, so yeah, keep going. All right. Thank you for that question. Now let's go ahead and go to the next one. Let me see. I saw, or, uh, this is from Robert. He says, uh, my main keyword is as close to the beginning as, oh no, hold on. What is, no, let me go here. Robert says how to make the right title. So how would you, how would you put that main keyword? Would, uh, would you, he asked if you can put it in the beginning, would you put it in the beginning, um, Matt or not? Yeah, uh, I would go into, so if you've got all the keywords that you want to use in your listing, I would go into scribbles and begin writing, uh, your title. So scribbles helps keep track of, we're already there. Scribbles helps keep track of all the keywords uh in your listing to make sure that you're using them or not so looks like we've got some collagen peptides keywords up from the last uh, example i would put your main keywords as close to the title as you can we found that your title uh has i don't know what what would you say bradley the best rank juice or yeah gets has the most weight in terms of places to put your keyword and not only that but putting your keywords as close to the beginning as you can um if you don't use your brand name in your title, I would put your keyword just like Bradley did collagen peptides right there at the very beginning. If you do use your brand, that's fine too. Just put your main keyword directly after it. Um, anything else? Nope. That's exactly what, what I would do. Just if you want to find what your main keyword is, definitely go back and look at one of our videos about how to use the Cerebro compare ASIN tools, because that's going to get you what probably your most uh, relevant keyword is going to be. Yeah. And then, so to actually to answer your question, your question was how to make the right title. Um, 
So we talked about putting your main keyword as close to the beginning of the title as you can. From there, I would try and pick your kind of second and third and fourth tier keywords, the keywords that are super important to you that maybe get a lot of search volume and a lot of traffic and try to fit those into your title also. Um, but you wanna do that in a readable way, right? So if you're keyword stuffing your title, uh, we've seen that doesn't work as well. And it's also pretty good to remember that uh, there's real people searching for your product. So if you think about yourself as a buyer uh, in the shoes of the folks buying your product, would you buy a product that says collagen peptides, hydrogen, collagen, food, unflavored gluten? Probably not. It's just kind of weird and messy. So you want the title to be readable by a human being at the same time as putting all your keywords in your title that get a lot of traffic. So it's a, it's a balancing act, but uh, definitely a delicate thing and, and something that is worth some attention. All right. Um, thank you. Who is that? That was Robert. Uh, now Wasim says, where is Helium 10 located? Where are we located, Bradley? Let's see. Can you guys see a little picture of the background? Where do you guys think we're located here? That's not like a backdrop. That's the actual, uh, that's real life. <laughs> yeah, it's real life. We are located guys in Southern California in Irvine. Um, one, now that we have most people on, I forgot to do a question today. How many people on here are on the free account? Like maybe you just recently signed up to Helium 10 and you're a free user. I want to know, just put here, say me, 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 or say free, free, free. I want to know how many of y'all, am I from Texas? Why am I saying y'all? When you get sleepy, you just start talking weird things. Um, or all of a sudden I'm gonna start coming off. How many y'all mites? Like that's Australian UK accent. I don't know what's going on here, guys. But anyways, how many of y'all are brand, uh, brand new Helium 10 and are on our free trial? Um, just go ahead and put your put your name down below. Um, so going back to the questions, yeah, we're in uh, Southern California in Irvine and it's a beautiful place uh, down here. Let us see, Matt, uh, Paul has a question. Are you allowed to have a uh, text on the main image? Yeah, good question, Paul. Um, you sounds like you've probably seen some of your competitors or other folks have a real catchy main image with text and badges on there or whatever mm -hmm. else. Uh, that's not allowed, right? Amazon's terms of service says that your main image needs to be your product on a flat white background. Uh, so I would say it's best to follow the rules um, and just have a great, kind of hero image of your product on a white background. Um, but then from there, you can continue to, to do whatever you want with the rest of your images, whether it's a um, infographic or a lifestyle image or anything like that. It's just your main image needs to be uh, on a white background. All right. One more question for Matt here before we get back to the live questions. Rapid this is live. from, <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> this is from Chuck Norris. Yes. We have our first celebrity. We have our first celebrity um, member question. of the uh, question from uh, H10 AMA. Chuck Norris says, uh, do you like Walker Tech? No, no. He says, what new tools are on the way? What new tools are on the way? Chuck, <laughs> if we told you, we'd have to kill you. We um, can't, we can, you can't kill Chuck Norris. <laughs> and he'll kick your butt. Um, no, yeah, uh, we do have a number of tools that are coming out and we're also revamping a few tools. Uh, Bradley's gotten a sneak peek at a few things coming out and we're super excited about them. Um, yeah, can't say anything now, but as always, new things coming soon. And these, all these suggestions do come from you guys. So uh, keep them coming. Let us know how the tools are working for you, what suggestions you have, and we'll keep working with the team to improve. All right, I just put it to this so I can show you guys something. Our picture was, was not being able to be seen, but um, Lucas says the keyword tracking didn't work in the UK marketplace today. Lucas, that could be just your Chrome browser. Um, but if it's not your Chrome browser, if you have an issue, uh, I wanted to show you right here. This is what you do. This little blue box in intercom. We have people 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this. This is the number one way to get to customer uh, support. There was somebody on Facebook who was asking me a question that I really didn't know how to answer because it was a technical, it was actually, it was a Chrome issue. It was actually a Chrome issue. And I'm like, sorry, man, I don't know if I can help you, but if you hit that blue box, uh, it's kind of like Doctor Who. You know, the blue box is 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 where to go, and um, they will get any technical issues you have uh, fixed. So uh, let us know anytime something is not working for you guys. That's why we have we have multiple people there who are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
to, to help you guys out with your issues. All right. Um, let's see. Yuri says something is mind blowing. I don't know if it's my speech problems today is what he's saying is mind blowing or something we, we showed. Uh, Francisco again says, how do you get the seller ID? I'm going to go ahead and show that because that is important. You go to any product. This could be your product or anybody else's product. You click on the store name. And then on this very next screen, you're going to look up here in the URL for something that says seller equals. And it's this long digit that usually starts with an A, if I'm not mistaken. So I just double click right here. And then that's the seller ID. So thank you for that question, Francisco. Duvids says it still pays to launch a giveaway if Amazon is blocking reviewers that don't pay in full. Um, Duvids, you're tempting me because you know I have not eaten today and you're talking about lunch, all right? So I, I think this was low key shade because you're trying to take advantage of me, but I have not eaten lunch. But yes, if you lunch a giveaway, it's absolutely still worth it. I have never, planned on getting any reviews in a launch um for a high because 99 of the time if you have a certain discount i don't know if it's like 30 percent, 40 percent. there's some something in there where you're not going to be able to get a verified review but again that's not the purpose of a giveaway it's not to get reviews it's just to get that sales velocity up and let amazon know that you're a player to be reckoned with and to get your product in front of people so do not rely on giveaways for reviews because that's not what they're for um, and so you'll be disappointed. Uh, so what you said is very accurate, Duvids, that uh, Amazon does not block, uh, Amazon does not allow people to leave verified reviews if it's like a heavy, heavy discount. Um, this is a question I don't know the answer to, but something that uh, let's open it up for anybody. Does putting an emoji in the listing affect the searchability of the products considering the keywords? I don't think so. However, one thing is a lot of um, different Amazon search terms and uh, spaces right now are going by bytes instead of characters. So you need to make sure that you're counting it correctly because if you do put an emoji in there, usually that actually counts for two or even three bytes in just one little emoji character. So you might be thinking, oh yeah, I'm under 250, but you have uh, uh, two emojis in there. I bet you you're at 259 you know, bytes. So be careful of that. Yuri says, can keywords be indexed by adding them in an exact phrase campaign, but not having them in the listing? Most likely not. Um, I've actually tried that and I've heard of people working for it, but I tried to duplicate it over three months. Um, and I never got it once. And I, I didn't even get one impression. So right now, the only verified way that I have seen with my own eyes and that other people, many people have told me is you have just at least one word, right? And then you do an auto campaign or you do a uh, phrase or broad and then let Amazon show you in front of that word and then you convert and then yes, you can go ahead and uh, index for that. <laughs> All right, this is an inside joke from last night's Midnight Madness. Matt, you gotta hear this story. All right, so I think we were doing black box last night and you guys can go look at episode 27.5. You know, It might get deleted from Amazon, I don't even know. But somebody gave me, it wasn't a baby shower, but it was some kind of very innocent um, baby category. It was like baby something or other, right? And okay. so that was, I was like, hey, you know, give me something to search for, guys. And that was what somebody did. I think it was one of their products. And like the first four listing was like see-through lingerie or oh. something like that. And I was like, what is going on? You guys set me up. And, and, you know, we had a lot of women on the broadcast last night. I was, I. I probably turned red. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even believe that Amazon showed that stuff with, without, um, without blocking it. But I quickly got off of that. Was that your idea, Lucas, or was that somebody else? I forgot who it was, but yeah, that was, that was good times last night. So episode 27.5 is rated R. That's yes. What, that's what I'm getting. 27.5 rated R borderline NC 17 guys. All right. Um, Howard, uh, oh, don't remind me. Are you a Dodger fan, Matt? No, huh? So yeah, Matt's, doesn't care about the Dodgers. So he was not uh, depressed emotionally like the rest of us were last night. That was so terrible. All right. Um, yeah, so so w some words like best, Amazon doesn't want you to use words like, hey, my product is the best collagen peptides. They'll like, I wouldn't say penalize you, but like penalize you in the sense that they're not gonna index you possibly for wherever that word even is. I, people have told me, I haven't seen that, but people have told me that's, that's happened. So. Don't use words like best or like free or do you know of any other words that are for sure forbidden? 
not on the spot, but that's a great example. The best is is a good one. Um, no, huh? John says I like Hickory Flat. Is that Tim Jordan? Yeah, Hickory, Tim yeah. Jordan's I was just on with. I uh, did a. Um, I, I don't even know how I have a voice right now. I've done five hours of uh, Facebook Lives and Zooms today, and with Hickory Flats was one of them. We got some cool things I'm planning to do with them. So yeah, those are good people. Definitely Hickory Flats is awesome. If you guys have seen any of the AMPM podcasts, Tim Jordan actually comes on, and those are probably some of our more popular podcasts or the ones where Tim talks about sourcing products. Uh, yeah, he's got some real interesting strategies about uh, product selection and research, and yeah, definitely take a look. Yep. All right, guys. Um, in case you are just joining us, remember the question of the day is those who are free members, please put free right here, like free Helium 10 users. I'm just curious how many of y'all are free users, or if you're not a user at all, like you don't have a free account, you don't have a paid account or nothing. You're just here window shopping um, because you heard that there's a, a good looking guy uh, on, on, on the broadcast. Well, we welcome you as well. All right. Um, yeah, Ed, you're see. right. There is a lot of conflicting information about the title. Uh, You'll get people that say both both things work and they do. Uh, I would just say test it for yourself and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Karen Lee says is brand name optional. You know, I have been able to put listings on there without the brand name at the beginning, but um directly from Amazon's mouth, I went to the Amazon Boost Conference in New Orleans a few months ago, and they said that what they're gonna start doing if you don't have the brand at the first word, they're just gonna go in there and change your title and put it to whatever they want with your brand name, and they might like put some ridiculous rest of the title, but if you don't do it yourself, they're going to do it for you. So just keep that in mind. If you're putting only keywords there without your brand name, it's possible that Amazon might go in there and, and uh, mess with your listing. We had that. We had a number of people ask that same question. I don't know if we'll get to it today, but a lot of people have already said, Hey, Amazon's gone in and put my brand at the beginning of my title. I can't change it back. What do I do? Uh, so there you go. Jenny says, um, I guess we got her thinking about it with, with last night's story. Um, uh, a question about sexuality products. How do you launch them? Is it possible? It's, it's kind of like the same way, but just, um, there's just a little extra steps. I believe that a lot of those categories are, you have to like prove that you're 18 in order to see them, but it, everything, excuse me, even like if you're in the handmade category, if you're on merch by Amazon, whatever weird category that Amazon has, it still all works the same way. What's going to drive your ranking is you converting sales based on a search that comes from it. So, um, if you're looking for, you know, uh, what's that thing that I see always, uh, not, to, or like, to, I don't know if no testosterone booster is not actually, that's actually a, considered a supplement, but like male enhancement pills or something like that. Right. Um, if people are searching for that and you start converting for it, you're going to you know, get to page one, even if it's a limited, maybe it's only limited visibility, only the accounts that prove that they're aging can see it, but still you want to be on that page one. So yeah, you, you can launch sexual products the same way that you would a regular process. Just keep in mind that some people might be blocked from viewing it. So you're not going to have the visibility of a non adult product. Yeah, And it never hurts to reach out to Amazon on questions like that. Like they will try to be as straightforward with you as possible. Sometimes they beat around the bush, but uh, on questions like that, I'm pretty sure that you'll get a, a fairly straight answer. So go to the source. Yi talks about Cerebro IQ score. She was thinking that higher IQ score would require fewer quantity to give away. I do not see that as happening. Um, the competition actually is not something that I look into too much. Just if it's like really low, like 200 or 300, then I know, hey, as long as I get this word in my listing, I'm already going to be in the top 300. But when it comes to getting to page one, it's the same amount for me. If there's 300,000 competitors or if there's a hundred competitors, what matters is what's happening on the first page, not how many there are overall. So if everyone on the first page is selling a thousand units a day, yeah, you're going to have to give away a whole bunch. Even if the whole entire category is only 20 sellers or only one page, you're not going to get on page one to bump one of those guys off unless you're doing better. So it's not about how many, um, competitors there are. Matt, where can she go to get some of the formula behind what's driving that CPR number? Don't we have a landing page that talks about this, the CPR where Manny does a video or something like that? Yeah, uh, helium10.com slash CPR. It was a super long write-up, probably one of our most popular blog posts that talks about how to launch with the CPR formula. So check it out, mm -hmm. helium10.com slash CPR. Alan says, I have a fairly new product that just went live. How do I know if I'm indexed for the main relevant keywords? Matt, can you help him with this? What what tool is he going to use? Uh, I don't know if I'm 
index for the main relevant keywords also is the two-step URL technique still effective? Uh, yeah, go into index checker, formerly known as 5K checker, and enter your ASIN, your seller ID. Which you wouldn't even, optional. I would say you don't even need maybe, yeah, optional. Right. Yeah, you don't, don't, if you're just wondering if you're indexed at all, yes or no, don't even worry about the seller ID. You know, just, just stick in your ASIN, put in your keywords, and boom. But now if you're asking, how do you find the main relevant keywords? Well, that's another story altogether. That's a, a whole nother process. But yeah, just like Matt said, all you gotta do is stick in your ASIN, your keywords right there. And it doesn't matter if your listing is five minutes old, or maybe it does if it's five, you know, like two hours old, you should be able to see that visibility. Also two-step URL technique still effective. Yes, that was what I was doing here last night. I was analyzing 100 and I did 100 in the last two months, 133 keyword launches with all kinds of different two-step URLs. And I have a lot of data and sometimes it works. Sometimes it's a little bit iffy. Sometimes one kind of two-step works better than the other. Um, I'm hopefully going to integrate a couple new cool things in the Helium 10 gems page with the development team about some new URLs that we might start using. But yes, two-step URLs still are effective. And I literally just did 133 tests over two months to, to prove that. So Bradley just mentioned the gems page. What the heck is that? Uh, go to helium10.com slash gems. It's a free tool we have. It's a URL builder tool. So we've got five of the most popular URLs that sellers use to rank keywords and show different products in their listings, like frequently bought together. So you can go, yep, here it is. And uh, so go there, enter in all the information and we'll spit back the URL that you should use. All right. Um, okay, now we're finally getting, wow. We got a lot of comments because we're barely getting to the answers about if they have a free account or not. So let me look at some of these. Um, hey, thank you guys so mm -hmm. much for joining, by the way. We have awesome, awesome people that show up live for all the AMAs we do. And uh, it makes it super easy to do these when so many of you guys show up and comment. So thank you. Absolutely. So Lee is on the free account. Let's remember their names. You know, um, Matt, um, Barry, uh, Martha is on the free. Alan's on the free. Lee is, or Lee, you said it twice. Lee really wants to make sure that we know he or she is on the on the uh, free account. John uh, is on the free account, and John, the other John Clifford is going to upgrade. John, don't upgrade yet. I'm going to give you a code. I don't want you paying full price. Any of y'all who said free, please don't pay full price. Manny will get mad at me for saying this because I'm stopping you guys from giving us money. But don't don't buy Helium 10 yet. All right, wait till the end of the episode. You gotcha. Uh, Jeannie just became a member. Congratulations. Uh, Martin, Mar Martin or Martin? Let me know how, how I'm spelling that. Um, how I'm spelling that, how I'm pronouncing it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to hook you up, Martin, with a free account. Jamie got, uh, found out from freedom. Where did Gabby ask a question here? I think Gabby must've asked a question because the, people are, people are answering stuff that I don't think, unless I'm really lost my mind that I didn't, I don't know that I ask. all of a sudden people are saying Irvine and freedom ticket. Maybe that's how people knew about helium 10. Maybe somebody asked that. So. By the way, uh, Freedom Ticket is really cool, guys. Definitely check it out. Kevin King does an awesome job. I actually went through the entire Freedom King. Freedom King. <laughs> this guy needs some sleep. Freedom, Freedom Ticket. Ticket course. Uh, you're you're going to start it too soon, right? Uh, That's right. To do it. Yeah. So it's a really great course. Taft is on the free account. Um, Eric just paid for Maggot. So what do you think he just did? If he just paid for Magnet, he's on one of the what plans? One of the a la carte plans. Most yeah. Likely. So guys, maybe you only want to do keyword research. You don't need the whole suite. That's fine. I, I personally want the whole suite, but some of y'all don't need this suite. You can be like Eric and just get you know our a la carte. Um, is it okay to use emojis for bullets? Howard says uh, some emojis. Yes, I, I haven't tested all emojis, but you see a lot of like I see like the check mark and stuff like that. Um, Martha is a free user. I'm gonna hook you up. Lee says, do you have any special deals? If we sign up today, do I have a special deal for you, Lee? <laughs> All right. Um, Agus, Agus, were you on last night? Why does your name sound familiar? I, you were on like one of the, the, um, the webinars I just did or something. I, I remember a name like Agus Sandy. That's an awesome name. Barry says, a couple comments up. Barry says, Chuck Norris doesn't sell on Amazon. That's what I thought. Yep. Chuck sells Amazon. <laughs> uh, Martin says, which tools are UK supported? How, how would he be able to know that? What, what are some of these tools like Cerebro? Is that, oh, there we go. So yeah. what am I doing here? How do I know, how am I, why am I doing this, Matt? Yeah, so uh, in Cerebro, you can actually- Hold on, hit, I, didn't, I didn't share my screen. Sorry about that, right, go ahead. Yeah, in Cerebro, you can actually hit a drop down and search uh, keywords by different market. Um, 
this was Martin. Uh, mo the majority of our tools work in the UK now. So we just launched uh, X-Ray and Blackbox. So they both work in the UK. Those are our product research tools and X-Ray is in our extension. And Cerebro and Magnet do, of course, Scribbles do, does Hijacker Alert. I think the majority of our tools do work in the UK now. So we're All gonna right. go. I can't believe we're, we're blowing through these things and we're still way behind. Look at Yuri, he's barely commenting about the finding, or maybe he's just easily impressed. Like we, we did this 10 minutes ago and he's still tripping on it. So Yuri, we thank you for the support. We appreciate it. I, I love it when I see reactions like this. That's my goal. If I'm on here and I don't blow at least one person's mind or Matt doesn't like just drop some kind of knowledge bomb on you, then we have failed. So I'm glad we were able to do that today. Um, Ashton Kutcher says that uh, they were told by Amazon that emojis are not allowed. So I, I know some are, but I have never seen um, an actual emoji emoji as in like a happy face though. That's something I haven't seen. So I'm not sure if that's allowed or not. Uh, Anka likes, <laughs> wants to go see that, um, uh, rated R, uh, episode. Um, Ed says he's heard that Amazon now indexes EBC in Europe. What do you guys think of this? I'd be curious about that because that doesn't make sense to me. Why would it, why would it, uh, index in Europe, but not in the USA. For those of you who don't know, EBC, do you know what EBC stands for? Yeah, Enhanced Brand Content. Ooh. So, Ooh. Oh, man, this is a, he doesn't need freedom ticket. He knows everything, all right? So that's Enhanced Brand Content. It kind of like takes over the description part of your listing and then puts like a whole bunch of graphical stuff. But in America, at least, um, the text that's in there, it's not indexed. If you have a description in the back end that's actually not visible, but what would have been the description, but it was now replaced by EBC, that I heard is still indexed. So I, I wonder if that's what's happening right here, but Ed, keep us informed about that because I'm very curious to see that. Lee is on the free account, Phil is on the free account. Stay tuned to the end of the episode. I got something for you guys. Um, Lucas says, I wish we had keyword indexing in UK and profitability. We don't have keyword indexing in UK. Let me see. Are you sure? Because I, I see it right here. I, I would test it just to see. If it doesn't work, let me know. But we supposedly have keyword indexing for everywhere, I thought, Lucas. All right. Um, what else? Derek has no account at all. All right, Derek. Well, we're going to get you at least on the free account, hopefully the paid account today, because I'm going to hook you up with a deal you can't refuse. Um, where are we at? Corina says, what price would you choose for a relaunch giveaway? Would you go between the break-even point and then they give away, make the giveaway 90% off that break even price or would you keep the price closer? Okay, so the bottom line is what, regardless of if it's a relaunch, if it's your launch, here's the rule of thumb, guys. And I think we mentioned this, you know, before. Let's say you've got a product that's like um, a uh, charging cable for, for uh, an iPhone, right? I can, I can put this for 50% off or even 30% off and I'm going to get tons of sales because how many thousands and millions of people actually need this at any given time? I have an iPhone. I have like five. I still need extra ones. I'm still sometimes short. All right. So I can get away with offering this for 30%. But like, let's say, I don't even know what this is doing here. <laughs> beard brush. Is it a beard? It is a beard brush. Um, but let's say this is a, a horse mane a red hair horse mane beer, a, a brush, all right? That's only for horses' manes that have red hair, something super unique. Well, if you tried to put this at 50% off or $5, you're not gonna get one person to buy this, all right? Regardless if it's a brand new product or if it's a relaunch or whatever, you've gotta give this away for like 10 cents. And then somebody's like, well, I sure as heck don't need that, but who knows, one of these days, I might know somebody who's gonna need that. So 10 cents, what do I have to lose? then I'll get it. So it's all about how desirable your product is to the masses, because if it's not something that anybody would just naturally want, you've got to give them incentive to, to buy it. And I didn't even put that question up. I'm sorry. All right. That's it for the questions today. I'm just going to go read through really quick. Every other question, Mel, if you're watching this, uh, please make sure to put this in the question so we can get to this later. Uh, we got more free people. Karen Lee is free. Renee is non-free. Uh, Rezwan somehow is free and paid. I'm curious as to what that means. He's, he's like, I got, I got every kind of account. Emil has a diamond plan. Congratulations. Jacob says episode 28 best show for me to date. Thanks. Good night guys. Yeah, that's right. Jacob has been on all day with us. Uh, so thank you for that. 
Um, Yuri says he's longtime paid subscription, hopes that gets a, a t-shirt and a Christmas as a gift. Uh, hint, hint. He's giving a hint, hint right now. Um, all right. Let me go ahead and go up. All right. That's enough. I, I'm tr I've been trying to catch up with the messages all day, and I can't. You guys are really bombarding us. This is so awesome, guys. 174 comments if today. We, if Insane. we didn't get to your question today, we will keep track of all the questions we missed in the comments. So if you're watching the replay, feel free to post more questions in the comments. But another place to do that is helium10.com slash questions. And we go through all those before every show to make sure we answer all of your questions. All right, guys. I'm going to put the code now for all of you guys who are free members or um, you're not a member at all. Use this code pumpkin. Finally, a regular word. Every day we've been having some weird words. Like the last one was octo beer. But uh, Rich Richie is not uh, is not as uh, imaginative. He's not feeling very imaginative today because he made the coupon pumpkin. So fifty percent off your first month, guys. And um, can you see the screen? Yeah. I'm just gonna start scrolling down and call call them out by name. Th those people who said they're free. Um, Let's do it. Um, so guys, uh, Matt's gonna call out your name. I want each uh, of you guys to to sign up for this because a lot of the stuff that we did today, you probably can't do on the free plan because there's like, like uh, I don't even know if you can use the full, I don't think you have the, this visibility in the index checker. So that whole entire thing that I just demonstrated to you guys, you wouldn't even at the beginning of the episode, you wouldn't even be able to do. So I want you guys to just commit to me, please. Anybody who's free or non-members, give me your word that you're going to go ahead and sign up for this code. This code is going to expire within a few hours because we don't want it getting out. One time it got out, got viral. And all of a sudden, everybody who's not even on our broadcast are, are using this code we only want this for you guys and we turn it off all right S give me a commitment please that you're going to go ahead and sign up for this 50 percent of the first month and guess what there's no risk i want you guys to just try out the full one and just beat this program to death and just abuse and abuse it right so that you can see the value and that's the only way you're going to see the value if you're just on the free one you're not going to see it and guess what guys at the end of the month if you decide bradley you know it wasn't worth it all you have to do is open up a, a chat and say, I don't think this is worth it. Can I please have my money back? And we'll hook you up. Yeah, right. So 30 day money back guarantee. We don't want any of any of your money if you don't think it's a super valuable tool. And we stand by all the tools that we create. We've got the team over here working on uh, all the new tools that we have coming out. We just launched Profits uh, Financial Analytics tool so you can track your Amazon finances. Uh, so a lot of game changing stuff come in. Uh, and we really think this is the only tool you need to run your Amazon business. So, yep. Let's so, do it. Karen Lee, I think you only have the black box right now, but upgrade to the full account. Black box is just a small part. That's just one of how many tools that we have? Uh, over 20. Over 20. One of over 20. Karen Lee, I want you to use that coupon code. Let me know. Get comment below if you're going to use it. Terrence, Thanks. Terrence, if you're still there, um, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Who else do we have here? Derek says no account. Get an account first, Derek, and rock and roll. Phil. Lee Thomas, Ed Campbell, you're the man. Who else? Anka, she's good to go. Who else? Um, who else do we have here? Um, let us see right here. Lee. Oh, yeah. Lee is the one who really wanted us to know that he or she, I can't tell from the profile picture because it's so small, if we have a special code for today. So, Lee, that special code is just for you. Pumpkin, 50% off. Please commit that you're going to use it because uh, everybody get what, what I get upset about. Um, is, and by the way, guys, we don't work on commission or, or, or anything like that. We don't, the only commission we get every comment that you guys make, we get one cent. Remember I told you guys about that from episode one, but that's not even true either. We get zero. The reason why I'm pushing hard is because I keep hearing behind the scenes, all these people are excited, right? Every time we do the episode. And then I talk to them like two or three weeks later, I'm like, all right, were you able to use that? And they're like, you know what? No, you know, it was really cool what you show, but I tried to do it in my free account. And then I got frustrated because I couldn't do what you did and I just gave up. And I'm like, oh my goodness, if you just had the full account, you would totally see the value. So that's why I want you guys just to commit to one month, risk-free, 40 something dollars, and then we'll give you the 40 bucks back if you don't like it. So please use that code, October, who else? Uh, Barry. Jenny Barry, yes, John Clifford and John Hundermark, Hundertmark, Alan, Martha, Barry, all of you guys, please sign up for this. I want you guys to do it. And then I want you to come back on the next episode. Like the next episode is Tuesday, maybe Tuesday. Uh, I might not be here because I'm, I might be doing a video. So either Matt will be solo or we might change it depending on if there's a lot of stuff going on. But we'll announce it right here. And the very next 
episode, whether it's Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I want to hear from all those people I just called out that you had a um, um, paid account now and that you redid what I just showed you guys at the beginning or you did something that we did today. Um, I want to hear about what, how you use the full account and what benefit you got from it. Does that sound good, Matt? Yep. Let's do it. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thanks to Gabby, who you guys can't see, but she's behind the scenes. She's the one behind the Helium 10 comments that you see here. She's working hard behind the scenes for you guys too. So thank you to her. Um, and I will see you guys probably next week and have a great evening contest again, follow on Instagram or Matt, can you tell them? Yeah. Follow us on Instagram and write a comment on the most recent post. All the folks who comment, uh, we'll throw you into the giveaway. We were supposed to do a giveaway today. But what we'll do is group uh, the giveaway we did on the last show together with this one, and we'll pick two winners on the next show. So I think that'll cover it. All right. Lee is a she. So Lee, thank you very much. Thank you, Lee. Lee, um, pumpkin is for you. So that code was specially for you. John is in. Phil is asking about freedom tickets. So Gabby, let him know how he can get more info on freedom ticket. Yuri says, nice photo. I don't know what photo it is, but it's nice. Maybe you're talking about Lee's photo. I don't know. We, we might have some uh, uh, romantic sparks flying here, kind of like John and Lindsay, husband and wife talking to each other on our broadcast when they're in the same house. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Eric just joined Platinum. Good job, Eric. Remember your homework, Eric. You have this whole weekend. You got to do something with that plan. Don't just buy the plan that does us no good. I want you to actually use it and let me know what you did with it all right homework who likes homework everybody loves homework if you're an amazon junkie you love homework all right all right guys thank you guys very much have a great weekend and we'll